Hi friends, I am Udhav Sagar Kanpal and welcome you all to yet another demonstration of uh, another sorting algorithm on Java tutorials using NetBeans IDE. This time I am up with quick sort. So, to all my new viewers, kindly subscribe to my channel and like the video on YouTube as well as comment and share let's start with a class let's create a quick sort class so let's start with a psvm So we will have to create a sort function which will have an array, a low, the starting index and a high, the ending index. The condition would be if low is smaller than high, this would be the terminating condition. If this fails, the quick sort will terminate as it is. Now we will have to create a partition function with a partition index. And we will Pass array low and high. Now we haven't created this partition function as of now. We can create it directly over here. So we will have a recursion over here. Good sort. And a low to partition index minus one. And we can copy this line again. this plus one to high this is the recursion function so we have created a quick sort function with a recursion and created a partition index where we partition the array and create another quick sort and partition it until our array is sorted so this is a divide and conquer approach to sort an array here we will select a partition we can select the first index as a partition index we can select the last index as the partition index we can select the middle index as the partition index now that partition index would be decided by our partition function so let's move on to the partition function now so int so let's create the ending index as the pivot and let's create starting index as low minus one. Now let's isolate and sort all the indexes for the pivot. Now I would be from low to high, I plus plus, if array is no good, 
active. This would be the condition. So we will have to swap all the values with the pivot for which uh, the values are not sorted. Now we'll swap the array high element with the starting in the first one element in the end return the starting index in this row. So eight then is equal to array of say high. Array high is equal to starting index. Partition function looks ready. Now we will have to create a print array function. So print array function is ready. Now let's create the array. Now we will have to sort this array. Now we have created that with sort function, we can print printing this array we will have to use this static function. Print array array. Now a function is ready the trial. This is in sorted order 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Now let's add some negative number. Okay. Now again minus 19, minus 12, minus 3, minus 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. This is in sorted order. So our quick sort array is complete with this partition function. You can take a look at this partition function. This is the quick sort function. This is the print array function, and this is our implementation of the logic. So, thanks for watching my video. Hope you learned something from it. These codes for quick sort are uh, available on various websites like Geeks for Geeks and maybe Tutorials Point also and others. So. Thanks again. I would ask you to subscribe to my video and if you like this video, please press the like button on YouTube and share and comment on this video. Thanks.